Hey guys, the last few videos were a little emotional, but I've received so many DMs and just people reaching out and saying that they've either gone through similar situations or they're going through it right now. And it's been really nice to hear that, that by watching my story, you understand that you're not alone and that I've been there and so many others have been there as well. Also, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Really excited to hit that milestone and the iPhone 12 winner will be announced in next week's video. I'm hoping to give the person time to respond and if not, we'll have to move to the next one. So that being said, I'm gonna move on from where I left off on Tuesday's video. I brought Jane home from the hospital and it was a huge adjustment, getting used to her sleep schedule, being up late, breastfeeding, everything was new to me. I was actually scared to change her diaper the first time I thought I would break her legs. Jaden. No one preps you for it and especially me being young, I felt like I was very incapable, but you learn to adapt and you figure it out as you go along. Luckily I had my mom there and she was super helpful showing me different tips that could help, especially cause I didn't have a partner with me to go through it with me at the same time. I went back to work at Nordstrom when she was eight weeks old and I planned to start college again in the fall for my sophomore year when she was nine months old. At this point, my ex wanted full custody of Jaden and for her to live with him. I wasn't going to agree with that, so he filed a court hearing. I think it's best to always resolve items outside of court as much as possible, but I also wasn't gonna be a pushover and just relinquish all my rights to Jaden just to keep it out of court. He ended up getting every other weekend and one day a week for three hours visitation with her. I spent the nine months before I was going to start school again, really just focusing on being a mom and supporting us. I wanted to work and provide for our bills. Thankfully, I didn't have any rent. I was living with my parents, but I did have other expenses and babies are not cheap. <laughs> During the every other weekend visits my ex had with Jaden, I would schedule time to hang out with my friends and try to feel as much like a normal 20 year old as I could. I started my sophomore year of college at a different university and was so excited to get back into school. That was one of the main things I missed during this time as I felt like I just really needed to get back into classes and learning and debates and I just really craved that. Nordstrom was a really good job for me to have while going to school because my two days off I would schedule for my school days. So at this point when I started going to school, I felt like I had no days off because my days off from work, I would be at school all day. I was always a pretty good student in school, but this made me really wanna step up my game and it made me very motivated because I knew that it was not only my success in the future, but it was also Jaden was depending on me. So I got really good at my time management skills and figuring out how I could do homework on the nights that I got home from work and really just making sure I turned everything in on time and never slept. I breastfed for a year. My mom would bring her to me during school breaks and some of my work breaks, not all the time, but just when I was really missing her. And I would pump milk for my mom to have stored when she was watching her. I kept breastfeeding mainly because it was more affordable for me. I didn't have to buy formula, but also it was so good for Jaden too. That was really hard being gone from her. I was so thankful and lucky that my parents were able to watch her while I was gone. But I did have this really big sense of mom guilt that I should be there with her more. But I also knew not graduating college and not being able to support myself wasn't an option. I didn't also wanna be dependent on my parents forever for rent. I knew I wanted to move out and be able to have my own place with Jaden, and that was the goal. My ex also wasn't offering to pay any child support or help with any supplies that I needed for Jaden, so I was on my own in that sense. 
He ended up not graduating college and never really made an effort to find consistent work here in California. So when she was two, he decided to move in with his parents in Oregon and walked away from his visits with Jaden and the time he had consistently with her here. At that point, I really couldn't understand how he could walk away from her like that, especially with the mom guilt I was feeling just from being gone with her, gone from her during the day when I was at work, let alone moving away and now not knowing when the next time I'll see her. And those consistent visits that I had, now just giving them up, I just couldn't even relate to that at all. And... I was sad for Jaden too, because I felt like I didn't know what was going to happen. Once he moved away, I didn't hear anything from him for around nine months. He didn't call Jaden, didn't let me know what was going on, didn't send an email, nothing. Then out of the blue, I get served court papers for another court hearing. This time he wants Jaden to fly up there to Oregon to visit him. And he didn't try to solve this out of court or communicate with me first. I was just blindsided by these new requests. So during this court hearing is when I asked the judge to grant some kind of child support because I wasn't getting anything and for him to help out in some way. I did feel like it's one thing to, you know, visit being a parent is more than just picking up your kid for a few hours and checking off your time clock that you saw them. There's so much more that goes into parenting and finances is a huge part of having a child. Once I was granted a child support order amount, I was able to open a case with child support services and from then on it calculated the payments. Jaden started going to Oregon for visits when she was a little over three and I always wanted him to be a part of her life if he was going to be responsible and keep her safe and not put her in harm's way. So the nice thing about the court order, it was very specific on when he had to bring her back, the times, the flights, everything was really laid out versus stories I would hear of people leaving with their kid and then them never coming back. So I did feel like that sense of security as I had the law behind me in case anything went wrong. When it comes to dating during this time, I knew exactly what I didn't want. I didn't want someone controlling, lazy, entitled, or selfish. I also knew that I wasn't going to hide the fact that I had a kid or be embarrassed of her in any way. I knew that whoever I dated needed to understand that it's a two package here. It's me and Jaden. It's not just me. It's also a part of my life is my daughter. And if someone's not going to accept that, then that wasn't going to be for me either. At one point I had really liked one of my friends that I had met my freshman year of college and we were kind of dating, but it wasn't really defined. We had been spending so much time together that we finally had a conversation. What is this? What are we doing? Because I'm not really meeting other people if this isn't going anywhere and either is he. I don't remember exactly what he told me, but it was something along the lines of he has a stepdad and he came from a broken home and he didn't see that for himself. In a nutshell, it was, I don't want to date someone with a kid. That's just not for me. And I was very taken aback by this. We... I spent so much time together. He came to visit me in the hospital for Jaden's birth. We go out to dinner with her. Like we were always together that it's, I was so clueless to the fact that he was feeling that, that I felt really dumb, but I didn't want to change his point of view or convince him otherwise. I just knew at that point that he wasn't for me. And that was a sign for me that I'm moving on from that. I need to emotionally just stop thinking of that direction because there's no future for us if you don't want to date someone with a kid. I also wasn't going to apologize for my situation or make excuses for, oh, she's with us today, or I'm sorry, she's a little inconvenient. Not for me. It just wasn't happening. After that, 
I said, you know, I don't really want to hang out at all. This just doesn't make sense for me. I just need to get over it. Another situation, I really liked this guy from my work. We would hang out on different occasions, but he would make comments about if I could stay out later and, oh, do you really have to go back? I would try to explain to him, my mom's babysitting. I'm not going to be out all night. You knew this beforehand. Constantly felt like I needed to explain myself and try to figure out ways that we can hang out. And again, it clicked that this is not going anywhere. It's not for me. And I didn't want to waste my time. I had felt this early on when I was pregnant with Jaden that I knew that I would rather be single than in a miserable relationship. And that was reconfirmed for me during this. And not that they were miserable anything. It was that I didn't want to be with second best or with someone who made me feel like I had to constantly apologize for my situation. In that same sense, I realized I'd rather just be single. But I was starting to feel discouraged at this point because I didn't know if I'd meet someone that would not only love me, but would love Jaden too. I just didn't know if that kind of person existed. So I didn't want to get my hopes up on ever meeting someone. I thought, you know, I'm going to support us. I'm going to be fine being single and being her mom and pouring myself into that and making sure we don't have to rely on anyone. I also felt like I wasn't going to force anything and I was really going to trust what God had for our lives because I knew he had a plan for us. I just couldn't fully see it yet. I was always on the pre-law program at school. I My major was political science with an emphasis in international relations. And I was so focused on law school and law school was always the plan for me. But when I graduated and I had to decide what I was doing the following semester or the, in the fall, I had this feeling of Am I really going to do another four years of full-time work and full-time school and not enjoy this time with her while she's still small? It felt like I never had so much downtime with her like I would love to have. I'll just do some research first and see other moms who are in this profession and see what their thoughts are. I interviewed four different moms that were in private practice. And each one said something different. Basically that they were working a ton, but the income was really worth it. Clearly there were sacrifices to family time, but it just all depended on what was most matter to me. They also had spouses that were contributing to the income. So I knew that wasn't a factor for me, that I was going to be the sole provider. I didn't want to give up fully on my law school dreams, but I knew I just wanted a year off to where I can just work and then have the two days off and actually be home with Jaden and take her to the park, do random things that I wanted to do on my days off with her and not have homework. I graduated college in May, 2010 and Jaden was at my graduation. She was so supportive, clapping for me. She ran up to me afterwards. Oh, she was so adorable. And I just remembered why I was doing this in the first place. She was so precious, so happy for me, had no clue that, you know, I was 23 and she was three. <laughs> she just knew I was her mom and was trusting me to take care of her. After I graduated, I'm using this time to really enjoy not having research papers or homework or I was doing mock trial at school. So just having that freedom to be at home on my days off was so freeing for me. I was really enjoying it. Things were going well. I was saving to move out into our own apartment, our own little place together. And six months later, I had no idea that my life would be changed forever.